What is going on everybody and welcome back to another video on the Outer Edge Gaming Community channel. Today we are going to be talking about procedurally generated music in No Man's Sky. Now this is a topic I've been wanting to talk about for a while because I know quite a few of you guys don't know how it works or even the type of music that is going to be in the game. So what is the procedurally generated music? in No Man's Sky going to be like, well, first off, I, I see the procedurally generated music as fitting to the game's nature, as most of the things in the game are already procedurally generated. The band that's going to be making the music, 65 Days of Static, is one of Sean Murray's favorite bands. He listens to them a lot, especially for inspiration for No Man's Sky, because they kind of have that, uh, space ambient kind of feel to them in a lot of their music and I could definitely see how that would inspire somebody um, to make something more sci-fi-esque in a game so when Sean Murray contacted 65 Days of Static he only wanted them to do music for the No Man's Sky trailer however they kind of said you know what forget the trailer how about we just do your entire album which Sean Murray was much more than happy to oblige to that but the funny thing is is that 65 days of static have never actually made procedurally generated music before they're actually getting help from a guy named Paul I don't know his full name but in the interview uh, Paul said he's really into procedurally generated music so he decided to team up with 65 days of static and said you know what Let's chop your music up like Fruit Ninja here, and let's make this work. So that's what they're doing. They're breaking down the music into uh, tiny little sections, as small as they can, I assume, and kind of mixing all that music together so it doesn't loop. Although the music will be playing at key moments where it's supposed to be fitting, such as starting up the game, flying into space, landing at a space station, and others. Even discovering certain things will play a certain track which is kind of cool because some people may never discover those things so they may never hear that track of music which is pretty cool because I think that gives incentive to go out and discover as many things as you can uh, in order to have the opportunity to listen to that certain music. So how is procedurally generated music made? Well I'm gonna be using this program here called AbundantMusic.com let me move this up here so you can see that AbundantMusic.com um, I doubt this is the program that Hello Games will be using to make their music but I think it's a great way to demonstrate just the different ways procedurally generated music can sound. Uh, you will have to pardon the music though because some of you guys may find it annoying to listen to uh, so because of that I'm only gonna be playing uh, up until like from like the the first verse to the end of the chorus which is about 30 seconds ish and I think that's a good portion to listen to to get a taste of what the song sounds like. So how is the procedurally generated music made? Well, it starts out with a seed. Uh, so this is a procedurally generated song, and I'm going to be using the number of planets in the game, so the 18 quintillion. So much like anything else in the game that's procedurally generated, it's going to have a seed which determines what it is and seed is just a set number uh, doesn't matter what number it is but that number will always come out with the same outcome it's kind of like a math equation if you input that seed uh, that seed will always come out with the same answer what this seed has is a couple different uh, components within it I guess that enable it to become that final product and what it has is a structure seed and the structure seed kind of defines how the song is going to be laid out such as the scale of it, the tempo, and the effects of the song. And the content seed is what instruments are going to be used, as well as like the rhythm and stuff within the song as well. Uh, and various other subseeds as well. As you guys can see, there's hundreds of different things you can edit within these songs. Um, and uh, this is seeds. I don't really know what these are within this program, but within these two is where the majority of the difference is where you're going to be hearing now you can't have a song without kind of giving it a set of rules, otherwise you'd be having calm music playing in an action-packed part or action-packed music when you're just exploring and nothing's going on. So you have to have a set of rules to define when songs will be played, and that's what these parameters are. 
Now the parameters, I assume, within the game will be used to control how a song will sound at a certain given point, given the likelihood of you being in that certain area or scenario. So I'm assuming like during a space battle, action music will be playing. That's what you'd want to be happening. Or when you're exploring, you just want to have calm, ambient music playing in the background. So that's just given the likelihood and you can change the likelihood with so many of these different uh, seeds here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the 30 seconds of the song and then I'm just going to go through and I'm just going to randomize each of these numbers so you guys can hear just how the song will sound. So let's go here to the player and we'll play the song so you guys can hear the first part of how it will originally sound at the beginning. So yeah, apart on that kind of audio quality, it sounds a bit weird. I always export it to make it sound better. So yeah, that's kind of what the bass song sounds like. So let's go over here into the song settings and just change the structure of it right here. And we'll just randomize it because I don't feel like going in and changing every little detail of it to a specific thing. So randomize the numbers here and we'll go over here to compose to change the song to the new version, I guess song 2.0 and as you guys can see it is a completely different song we have different verses here and I may actually play this one to this verse because it has a little bit more uh, section to it and there's the whole song so let's play this and hear how this one sounds So yeah, just from changing the structure, I, like that completely changed how the song sound. And I mean, you can just change each of these individually if you wanted to, and it would change the song to any number as well. Uh, so let's go right in here and change the content seeds. So this would change how the song will sound, um, or it should at least how the instruments will sound. We'll go over here to compose to see how the song will look. And then we'll listen to it and hear just how different it sounds from its other counterparts. And it looks like I'll be playing through verse 1 and 2 on the second part on this one as well. So let's dive in and hear how this one will sound. So...
Now, I don't really know if you guys noticed the difference in that one compared to the other, because they all kind of sound jovial and whatnot. Um, but they are all different. I mean, you can tell that they are all different songs, given that. But we also haven't even changed the parameters of the song. We've just kind of changed how they sound, how it's formed and whatnot. But let's go in here and change the parameters. We're keeping the structure seed, the content seed the same. But we'll go in here and change the parameter and see if that makes a difference. And actually, I have to go in and edit all these ones by hand. So give me a second. I'm just going to go and change those. And we'll hear how it sounds when I get back. Okay, so I've gone in and changed all of them. So we'll go here and compose the new song, hear how it sounds, and kind of compare it to just how different... Oh, look at that. It's already a different looking song already. Uh, and we'll go over here down to the verse, the second verse, as we have with the other ones as well. And let's hear how different this song is compared to the rest. I mean, we've already come quite a ways from the original song, but let's just give it a look and hear how it sounds. Uh, the song seems to have disappeared into the ether, so let me find it again. So I actually figured out what it was, and apparently you cannot have a a ton of random numbers, because it literally changed the song completely, and I had it so the song was completing in less than a second, so a little bit too extreme. So I went in and fixed it a little bit, put in some more realistic numbers. But as you can see, this song still changed quite a bit. But um, yeah, let me play here from the chorus and we can hear how that sounds. And I didn't even realize I had the player up that entire time. So, uh, yeah, but you guys still got to see it and hear how it sounds. And I don't know, they don't they don't sound a whole lot different. But uh, I definitely know that whatever program that uh, Paul and 65 Days of Static are using will make the music diverse and fit where it's supposed to within the game. Now, again, I will repeat so people don't go out there and say, oh, yeah, check out this website. It's what Hell Games are using. Uh, that's not the case. I'm just using this website to show just how different music can sound when it's procedurally generated and you modify even just a couple things. But in this case, I changed quite a bit in here. So, um, yeah, I mean, I just changed three of the sections of sub seeds and it changed the music very drastically in between them and I like I personally cannot wait to see how 65 days of static because that is a completely different style of music from the music I'm playing in this video it'll definitely be interesting to see just how well it works together within the game itself so so yeah thank you guys very much for watching this video I learned quite a bit from making and I really hope you guys did as well. I didn't even know how procedurally generated music was made prior to this video so I think it's pretty eye opening to me just to see how different it can sound and the infinite possibilities within it. So uh, before I go I do want to tell you guys just kind of how my schedule is going to be now that I'm almost out of school. I'm done with all my finals at the college here on this Wednesday. And after that, I'm really looking forward to making a video every single day for you guys. And until next time, you guys have a beautiful day.